everybody, welcome back. Eric Morehouse here with the Morehouse Group. I am en route, but I wanted to bring to you a very important 101 topic to talk about it is buyer's remorse. Now, this is something that I did not use to cover when I spoke to folks about buying or selling a home. Obviously buying, but uh, typically when people sell, they're also buying something else. But buyer's remorse, I think, that it needs to be addressed as early as uh, you know a buyer presentation when you first sit down and chat and you discuss the contracts and expectations and stuff like that you have to and I try to now as of pretty recently um, because of a few experiences to talk about this as being a a normal thing once somebody finds a home and they're excited and they go for it and they submit the offer and it gets accepted, there, is, there are a lot of happy feelings, a lot of good feelings, but there is also a sense of doubt. Even if it's small, there's at least a little bit of, oh man, 30 year mortgage or you know, $400,000 or whatever. You know, the fear of the unknown. And I do believe that if you talk about this in the beginning of the process, that when folks, when your clients are starting to feel this, they're not so thrown off by it. And they don't think that, oh gosh, because I am feeling this, I need to get out of the contract. I made a mistake. We've got to stop this. They might say, oh, I'm feeling this. I'm nervous. This is a big decision. If I didn't feel nervous and I didn't feel like it was a big decision, maybe that would be the problem. So with that information as a tool, an arrow in their quiver, they can know, hey, I'm facing something which is normal. Everybody does it. And with that information, I can just say, take a deep breath. Let's talk about reasonable concerns and you know possible outcomes. And then let's talk about the good stuff, what we did find, what we do like, what we're happy about. So that's what I would recommend to you all out there, whether again, you're new or seasoned, is mention it. And I know it's a weird thing to think that you need to mention something that's a negative, um, but I would encourage you to do it because what could happen and what happened to us not so long ago is we had three back-to-back -back clients who were super excited went shopping, found what they liked, put an offer in on it, and then essentially just changed their mind. Either they, they, they lost interest, or they got nervous, or you know they spoke to a significant other and they gave them a kind of a conflicting opinion about the place, whatever. But it was enough for them to say, I need you as my representative agent to get me the heck out of this thing. And I do believe that in hindsight, if I had said, you're gonna feel these things. It's gonna feel not perfect sometimes that they would not have wanted to back out of the contract and we would have had three deals under contract go to close. That's my recommendation. If you have any other topics you'd like me to cover, put them in the comments below and have a great week. Sell some homes, take care.